Welcome back. Our region's long, hot summer days and crisp, cool evening breezes combined with mineral-rich soils left by Ice Age floods to create near-perfect conditions for making great wine. This almost magical combination of soil and climate makes Columbia Valley and Red Mountain fruit unique from wine grapes grown elsewhere in the state. These factors have helped the Columbia Valley become known around the world as the heart of Washington wine country. And our region's booming wine industry received a major enhancement recently as state leaders and local community supporters broke ground on the new Wine Science Center at WSU Tri-Cities. The research and teaching conducted inside the Wine Science Center will be specific to challenges and opportunities faced by grape growers and winemakers in Washington State. And it is projected to help triple the economic impact of this $8.6 billion industry to reach more than $20 billion by 2020. Amazing. One, two, three. All right. Next. Oh. Today we're celebrating a great marriage of two things we believe in in the state of Washington. We believe in wine and we believe in science. And in marrying those things here today, we are going to grow the Washington wine economy like nowhere else on the planet Earth in the next two decades. And you can count on that. That's going to happen. So, so we're breaking ground right in the heart of Washington wine country. And I want to extend uh, thank you from six and a half million Washingtonians to everyone who's been involved in this project. Washington State University, the Wine Science Center Development Authority, the Port of Benton, the Washington State Wine Commission, the U.S. Economic Development Administration, and the many corporate and private sponsors and volunteers who have helped this come to fruition. And I do think it's appropriate that we give a round of applause to the six and a half million Washington taxpayers who make an investment in the future of the economy right here, the five million dollars. <throat> Again, just in closing, uh, I want to say that when you look around the state of Washington of all the great things that are happening in building a working Washington, you can't look to a better place right here. So let's go celebrate. Go Cougs, go Washington wine industry. Thanks a lot. The Wine Science Center Development Authority is a unique partnership managed by the City of Redstone. The land has been donated by the Port of Benton, and the fundraising and financing is led by Washington State University. For more details about the Wine Science Center, visit the link at the bottom of your screen. Construction of the Wine Science Center at WSU Tri-Cities is expected to be completed by early 2015.